Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain how to generate a file with header and uh, the created date, then the detailed records, and then the footer with a record count. In our case, uh, source is a table and uh, target uh, is a flat file. So, what are the steps we are going to follow? The step one will be generate the header file without target file header. Then uh, generate the detail file with the data without target file header. Then generate the footer file without target file header. Then merge all these files in post processing command. Let's see how the mapping will look like. The mapping will look like uh, this. Uh, you'll have a source. Then um, uh, three targets one for uh, TGT header, then one for TGT detail and the third one for TGT footer. So in this way we can generate the file with header, footer and detail records. Let's go to the informatica mapping. You can see here the source. The source in table name is uh, SRC EMP and uh, there are a few fields like EMP number, EMP name, job, like that. Then uh, let's go to the header flow. To generate the header, you need to hard code edge and you need to populate uh, the created date. You click on expression, you can see header. We are hard coding uh, edge, then created date uh, C state, and um, we are converting it to character with DDMM, y, 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 whatever format is required, that you can do here. Then next is aggregator. So we need only one record. As in the source, there are around 14 records, but we need one record. That's why I am doing an aggregator here. Ah, group by header, you can mention and aggregate. Uh, uh, no need to mention any aggregate function. Then in uh, TGT header, you can generate the file. Yeah, you can use that create new at runtime and mention TGT underscore header dot CSV. You go to advanced. In advance, you have to select uh, no header because we don't need any header uh, uh, or column names. Output type as file. Then let's go to the footer. To generate the footer, let's go to the expression. I can see here I'm hard coding F, which is for footer. Then uh, I'm using aggregator function to calculate the uh, count of records doing group by on footer in aggregate function i am doing a record count record count equal to count of footer count of records as we need uh, the footer as f then uh, the record count then the target footer file here also the file name will be there and to, you have to use that uh, file in advance. Select uh, no header and output type as file. Let's go to the detail. In expression, nothing required. In target, it's a one to one mapping. So Nothing much uh, need to be done here. So these are the fields. Then you can map the fields. And if you go to target, advanced, header option select no header, output I'll type as file. So once you create the mapping, you have to create the mapping task. So go to the mapping task, click on edit. I have already created this. Let's go to the next one. Go to advanced options. 
you can see here I have used the post processing command so this is the command what I am doing here in this post processing command you can see here I am doing I am copying header then uh, detail then footer and passing all the values to the to another file called employee dot employee underscore tgt let's uh, run the mapping task yeah it has succeeded you can see here 14 records loaded to the detail file one record loaded to the footer and one record loaded to the header let's go to the target folder you can see here tgt detail is there let's see what all things are there in that see 14 records are there similarly tgt footer F 14 then tgt header Edge for header and the created date it's 24 27 uh, September. Let's open the final target file. Yeah, you can see here the record one having header as edge and created date, and the footer having F as footer and the record count. These are the 14 records are there. So in this way. You can generate header, footer and detailed records in a file.